Hello guys, I am Rahul Bartla from Mission MBA. Today we are going to start statistics, Quan 51 series. Now this series is for everyone, for a beginner, for a mediocre, for an advanced level GMAT taker. Now we'll start with the basic concepts, move ahead with the basic questions, and then take some difficult problem solving questions, followed by the last version or the last step difficult data sufficiency questions now before we begin let's talk about why some people get stuck at 600 gmat score some at 620 gmat score what is the problem the idea is simple people randomly go to a website type in practice questions and then simply start practicing but the point is what questions are they practicing your Preparation should be organized. You should start with the basic concepts, move ahead with the theory part very thoroughly, then go ahead to some basic questions, right? So we are going to follow the same procedure. We'll start with the basic theory, then move ahead to the basic questions so that you concretize the basic concepts. We do not directly move to the difficult questions. This drops our confidence and it feels like we haven't understood. So first the basic questions, then slowly, slowly increase the level, somewhere around 650 to 700 with problem solving questions. Then again, analyze what are the hot topics for the current years in which you are practicing. Some particular topics tends to repeat. You have to analyze those topics and study them separately once again into the very depth. Then go to the final round. And that is 700 plus questions, challenging DS questions. So we have broken the entire series of statistics into nine chapters. Those who know the basic theory, they can move ahead to the difficult questions straight away. We don't mind. But for those who are just beginning right now, I would recommend watch every video very thoroughly. And from here to here, in no time, you'll be able to make most difficult questions of GMAT statistics as well. So guys, why do wait? Let's move ahead.